It was 33 years ago today, his iconic album Thriller took home eight Grammys. You believe that? It's crazy. And it's still the best-selling album of all time. And still one of my favorite albums oh, of all too. time as well. Well, the fascination with MJ's personal life still continues today. And we were on the set of the upcoming Lifetime movie, Searching for Neverland, which delves inside the last three years of Michael's life. And it's told through the eyes of the people with a personal connection to the king of pop. This is behind the scenes, Michael Jackson. Some you like, some you might not. Playing the king of pop, Navi, an MJ impersonator for almost 30 years who knew Michael personally. I had the opportunity of, of meeting the man and then working for him, um, working as a decoy, coming out of hotels. I performed at his birthday parties in New York and Los Angeles. And then I had the honor of being invited to Neverland. Now he is starring in the Lifetime movie scheduled to air later this year. This film is about not what general public or, or a lot of his fans know about him. This film is written and it's the man when he's sitting and watching TV with his children and, or when he's, you know, playing games. There is a human being, you know, and you'd be surprised. Is Mr. Jackson with you? Chad Coleman plays Jackson's bodyguard, Bill Whitfield, who co-wrote the book the movie is based on. Bill said you never knew what was going to go down. We have a wealth of arsenal in the house. Double pump shotguns, Uzis. Bill, what? The alarm went off. But there were lighter moments as well. He told me that Michael was just a real dude, man. He said, look, man, anybody like hot sauce on their popcorn? <laughs> It might seem small, but it's really wonderful because you always see this larger-than-life deal when it comes to him. So to hear that was just really, really cool. The film is being produced by Suzanne DePass, who helped discover the Jackson 5. And Navi says the project will respect Michael's legacy. I hope that it doesn't upset or offend anybody. And I hope that definitely the, his mother and his uh, children might see that, you know, the world can now know how wonderful their, their dad was. I will say this, it is uncanny how much he actually right? looks like Michael Jackson. But a lot of people will be watching, right?